virtual reality. Whoa! It's a lot of fun, but now it's being used to help some folks with dementia. That's coming up. You're watching Fox 31 News at 5. Dementia. It's a condition that impacts memory and it affects 3 million people every single year. It's not usually curable, but thanks to new technology, some positive treatments have come from unlikely places. Fox 31's Dan DeRue live in the newsroom for us. New at 530, Dan. Yeah, check it out. Virtual reality. It's been around a while. You put on the headsets, you stick them on, you pretty much go anywhere you want in the world. It's a lot of fun. But now it's starting to help a lot of folks with dementia. Would you like one, Molly? It's tea time at Claremont Park Life Plan Community. You want some more? Good friends, hot tea and crumpets, and shared memories. There you go. But for 102-year-old Pauline Lair, sharing memories has become harder and harder by the day. She struggles with dementia. It's debilitating to family members. It's debilitating to the residents in which we care for. Suitable. <laughs> Suitable? Being with friends, engaging in conversation, even taking an art class or gardening have been some traditional methods of stimulating the brain in treating dementia. Pauline, here comes your virtual reality set. Ooh. But with social media and technology, a person with dementia now can be stimulated by traveling the world without ever having to leave their chair. It allows them to tap in to their memories from experiences that we provide. I see London. Right now, Pauline Lair is tapping into London, England. In reality, she's been there several times before, but now doesn't quite remember those trips. Oh. Well, I think it's great. Why not? I mean, you've got the technology and it's applicable to this kind of uh, condition. and and uh, they had to use as much stimulation as they can. For Pauline, some days are pretty good. And there's some other days where she's not around. She's somewhere else. Maybe London, England. Yeah, she was a great gal, and somehow I'm not sure what happened here, but I wound up in some back alley. But anyway, Claremont Park's been using the VR headsets for a couple months now. They like it, the residents like it, and they think it might be helping, and that's a good thing. Dan DeRue, Fox 31. Hopefully the first time you've wound up in a seedy back alley. Yeah, I was going to say send help. Right, we might have to. Uh, Denver Internet.